Okay, so everything on this BIOS, this is the XFX 790i Ultra latest BIOS before they discontinued it. Uh, everything is set to default, um, except for an advanced chipset features. Uh, system clocks is default, and CPU configuration is default. The only thing I've messed with is the front side bus and memory config with system voltages. The only two that I've played with. Um, now my front side bus is 1911 on the CPU which puts it at 4.3 gigahertz at 9 times multiplier. My RAM is set to 1600, P1 and P2 enabled. I did enter uh, memory timing settings but I have not entered the advanced memory settings since I did the jumper reset on this motherboard I have to re-enter those I'll have to google the specs and re-enter them um, CPU configuration is default and system voltages um, my CPU V core is set to 1.43125 and it's at 1.36 volts is the current value uh, this right here is stable for 4.3 and I am under 70 Celsius uh, I had to up the front side bus voltage to 1.3 auto I believe is 1.20 no it's 1.10 that's the auto 1.1 um, this is the RAM, which is stock uh, voltage for the RAM, according to the manufacturer. And I increased the Enforce SPP, which I believe is North and South Bridge. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't know if MCP is a South Bridge and SPP is a North Bridge. But um, on auto, the SPP is set to 1.45 or 40 volts, so I set it to one more higher, uh, which is the max safe zone for it. And I had it set uh, to 1.45, which doing this, I noticed that the icons and programs and stuff on startup, like uh, APG antivirus. And all that stuff loads a whole lot faster when this was set to 1.45. Um, MCP, I didn't notice any difference. I don't know if it's related to the PCI Express slots or what, but I set it right in the middle, uh, 1.60 volts, and it works out nicely. And lanes, uh, I did not mess with at all. I don't even know what they do, honestly. Um, According to the settings here, it's registering in millivolts, so I'm guessing that it decreases millivolts on core 0 and core 1. Um, that's what each lane is. We got core 0 is core 1, core 1 is core 2, core 2 is core 3, and core 3 is core 4. Um, so that's that's what that is um, I know that much but as far as what it does I don't know um, now I did go into advanced BIOS features and changed my first boot device to hard disk and disabled all the others uh, makes boot up a little faster and also in uh, standard CMOS setup I put drive A to none, which what that does is make it to where I don't have to hit F1 every time I reboot and stuff like that. Um, it goes straight into the system and that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly what that's about, but I set it to none and I don't have to hit F1 to go past. Uh, a certain point at post it just goes straight into the system um, that's pretty much it everything else is default I did go into system monitor 
and I increased my fan, well actually I hadn't done that yet, I thought I did that, uh, I'll increase my fan speeds to 100% on everything, that way I know that I have sufficient cooling, and I'll save and exit out of those, alright, and I'm going to do a quick boot, save and exit setup. Now, what I was talking about when I had to hit F1 would be right after this uh, motherboard logo. And it, see, right there, it wouldn't go into all this to boot. I would have to hit F1, then go into all that, or delete to go into BIOS. So turning off the drive A and standard system setup, it would go uh, into that F1 at delete setting. And turning it off, it would go straight into the system okay so now we are into the system we're booted up put my password in all right there we go that's uh, my son's great-grandmother and my son um, Going to OCT, OCCT, pull it up. You notice everything load extremely fast on the icons. Now I have my Razer Death Adder um, program still loading. There it is. So it's still uh, loading my settings for how fast my mouse sensitivity is. There it goes. It just kicked in. All right. Spin this. Alright, so here's my temps 39, 40 Celsius right off the boot. This is not idle, it's still loading some processes and stuff. I'm at 4.3 gigahertz with a 43.3% overclock. Okay, so here is the overlay of the OCCT uh, screenshot. I'm still at 4.3 gigahertz. I'm running solid on temperatures and also uh, the percentage of CPU and memory usage. Um, I'm running solid 4.3 gigahertz right here on the frequencies. Uh, my temps are averaging between 63 and 66. Um, the max temperature is 68 and everything looks like it's running solid and we're 20 minutes in uh, I did a five hour test on this and I did um, a couple hour test on this as well uh, I did an hour test had to increase some voltages and did another hour test and so on and so forth but uh, I did a five hour test on the settings that I have from the BIOS in the previous uh, screenshot that I had and everything just running solid I'm not going above 70 Celsius and I'm not um, under bolting as well so with that said um, everything's running good and you can copy my settings if you have a Q9650 Intel CPU core to quad. Uh, it might work for you, but 95% of the chance it won't work for you um, because you're going to have to find your specific voltage for a certain clock and certain temperatures. Every processor clocks differently. So, um, you can start from my settings and adjust from there, or you can, um, what I did was I started at 1.40 volts, started at 4 gigahertz, and it runs solid, and then I worked from there, uh, you could try that as well. Um, so, 
just keep an eye on your temperatures. Your temperatures are the main thing to do for your CPU. Uh, you won't be able to monitor your north and south bridge temperatures and stuff like that. Uh, if you watch my previous video of my system setup, how I got everything set up for maximum airflow and maximum cooling, you can check that out. The link will be up in the top right hand corner. Um, and everything's running solid. Uh, I've played a few games, I've done some tests on um, Assassin's Creed, I've done some tests on Heaven Benchmark and 3D Benchmark. Uh, 3D Mark 11. Uh, you know, the only thing that I haven't done is Prime 95, which Prime 95 pushes your CPU to the 100% solid max. I mean, it throttles your processor, and with it throttling like that, you will never use that amount of power on daily use. So I'm not uh, going to be running Prime 95 on this because OCCT runs good and it's, you know, it uses an average amount of 100% power. If you're running a very CPU intensive game, that's about what it runs at. You know, it, it's not Prime 95 status, but Prime 95 fails on my overclock. And I think it's because of temperatures because as soon as I turn it on temperature spike to 70 75 Celsius as soon as I turn it on and running OCCT my temperature stay between 60 and 65 Celsius I mean that's 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit so um, I'm gonna stick with OCCT and forget about Prime 95 Everything else is running flawlessly. 4.3 gigahertz. I'm satisfied with um, with the current cooler that I have. I don't think I can increase it anymore uh, because of temperatures and stuff like that. So, thanks for watching and Millichamp out. Peace.